Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 building video. Today we are doing a renovation of my Let's Play trailer home. So this is from Rags to Riches Get Famous. My Sim is living in a trailer uh, on this driveway here and we've we've come into a little bit of money. You know, we I think we're... I can't remember what level we are. We're pretty high level in the acting career. And, you know, we're a three-star celebrity, so I think we should be living in at least more than one trailer. So I decided that we're going to turn it into a little bit of a trailer park and have three trailers. Uh, it was actually a suggestion from the comments of one of the episodes was to turn it into a little trailer park area and uh, go with that. Because uh, the, the weird thing is, with Get Famous and the acting career, you don't actually end up making that much money. Like, even if you're at the top of the career, you're still only making, what, like 6,000 per gig? Maybe a little bit more sometimes. But with that, you can only work like two to three times a week. So you don't actually end up making that much money. And the thing is, we are at that sort of level of fame. We're at that level in the career, yet we still can't afford a decent house. I mean, to be fair, we could definitely have built a proper house with the money we had. But I think it's more fun to build a trailer park. Because the other thing is, my, my sim, a lady, who's standing there in the middle, she, she, look, she, she's trashy. Like, let's be honest, she, she, <laughs> she's an awful person. Like, she's a celebrity, she has a great reputation, and we're gonna keep that up. But under the surface, she's actually working to ruin people's lives. She uses people for fame. She's actively working to destroy Thorn Bailey because he showed up at clubs while she was there and stole her spotlight. You know, she was the center of attention. Then he shows up and ruins everything. So, you know, naturally, what she did was get with Thorn Bailey, convince him to divorce his wife, move in with her in the trailer, have twins... And then actively work to ruin his career and livelihood. So, you know, she's kind of a bit of a trashy woman. Therefore, I think it's kind of fitting that she still lives in the trailer park. And <laughs> that's the idea we're running with. Uh, and so what we're going to do, I'm actually, I actually made the trailers a little bit thinner. I think there was, a few, there was a few suggestions to do like double wide trailers and all that. But I decided that we would, we'd keep the trailers thinner. So they kind of just look like an actor's trailer or something that would pull up on a movie lot. We happen to have three of them for whatever reason. They're all up on blocks. So of course there's no wheels. I uh, called it Trailer Academy. I don't know why I called the lot that. I thought it was funny at the time. Uh, <laughs> I graduated from Trailer Academy, which we will eventually when we move out and get a proper house. But uh, I don't know when that will be. For now, we're living here. Uh, yeah, so I decided we'd do three. One of them is going to be, I guess I, you could say the main living quarters. So the bedroom, kitchen, bathroom, all that kind of stuff. So that's this first one. And I'm actually making it a little bit thinner. It used to be four wide. So I'm making them three wide because it looks more like the width of the actual sort of trailer that you can see in the world. Like there's a, in the house next door, there's like a, there's like a trailer parked in the driveway. And it's roughly this size. So I thought three wide would work a little bit better. Makes them a bit smaller, a bit more fun to also like furnish. It's like a little bit of a puzzle. I, the other thing I could say, I, I wish we had more money. Because there's a lot more that we could do to this. A lot more that I wanted to do to it. I did what I could though. And uh, and I think it's going to be good. It's going to be good moving forward in the Let's Play to have all this kind of stuff. Now, I did also live stream this on my Twitch channel. This is all live streamed. I was building uh, and getting some feedback as we we're going. Also, if you want to watch the whole live stream, so, you know, watching me build it in real time and all that kind of stuff, it will be uploaded on my brand new YouTube channel called More James Turner, which I'll link down below and on the screen so you can check that out, that juicy channel out. Make sure to go give that channel a sub because that's where I'm going to be posting all my live streams uh, in more manageable bites so you can watch them back and, and catch up on anything that you missed. So check that channel out. It'll be there. Uh, also, go to my Twitch, Twitch channel. Follow it if you haven't already because that's where I'll be streaming. Uh, but the other cool thing is, related to the live stream is, uh, if you don't know, for this month, November, I've been growing a mustache for Movember, which is raising money for men's mental health and physical health and, and research and all that relating to it. And the really amazing thing was the original goal for the month was to raise $1,000. Uh, we smashed that really quick. Then I upped it to 2,000. We went straight past that. I went to 5,000. We went straight past that. I went up to 7,500. We went straight past that. And then today we actually surpassed $10,000 raised for the month, which is amazing. And, and anyone that was there and has contributed throughout the month, thank you so much. Uh, I have shared it on the channel here a few times as well. So I know some of you only watch here on YouTube have also contributed. So thank you so much to that and everyone that sort of got involved. It's been really, really great. Uh, so that was really cool. And um, that was like a huge sort of huge moment for the stream. 
Uh, but anyway, so here in the trailer, now that we have a little bit less room, I'm trying to I'm trying to make it feel more like an actual trailer, like where stuff is sort of built in a smart way. There's a lot of storage, but at the same time, I was also kind of strapped for cash. Uh, so there's not there, there was a lot I wanted to do, not a lot that I could afford. Now, I did also search like celebrity trailers or like fancy celebrity trailers on Google. And if you do that, and I recommend that you do, you will actually end up seeing that a lot of them are just like really brown, very brown. It's like a lot of woods and then brown fixtures and fittings. I don't know what it is. I don't know if they're just all like outdated. It almost seems like early, like mid, I guess early to mid 2000s kind of style is what it looks like. I don't know if new modern ones look different to that, but that's what we're basing it off of. Also, it, I think it kind of fits because these trailers are dumped on this lot here in Mirage Park. So I think it kind of makes sense that they're probably not the most modern trailers <laughs> in the world. So I was like, yeah, whatever. That's fine. Now, yeah, so that bed is usable, which is good. Uh, we did test that, so that should be all fine. So the bedroom, we got a little wardrobe and the acting mirror in there to match nice and brown as well, mind you. Uh, and then we just have, we had to change the bathroom to a one by three because we obviously couldn't fit the two by two anymore. So that's just opposite the kitchen, which is still the same galley kitchen there. And then we just do, I think, just like a little sofa here in the corner uh, to fill out the space as well. Because I feel like, the, well, no, I don't feel like these trailers always have like a little seating area and then a bunch of storage and, and counters. I, I, I did put more counters along the edge. Uh, we couldn't actually fit the babies in this trailer. The babies have to go in another trailer. But the other thing is in the Let's Play, uh, we will be aging them up to toddlers, so I didn't really design anything for the babies specifically. Uh, but that trailer that I just put them in will actually become their trailer. So we're going to have like a, a shared bedroom in there and all that. So that's how that's all going to work. Uh, but I think that's pretty much the first trailer they're done. Then we move over to the middle one. So they all have a pretty similar layout. Like, all the windows are exactly the same, the door is in the same spot on each of them. And Because I figured, like, there'd be the same sort of trailer design anyway. So I figured we'd do all the same kind of thing. Uh, however, this middle trailer here, we actually made the bathroom a little bit bigger. I haven't done it yet, because uh, we realized later. Because having toddlers, we're going to need to have a bathtub uh, to be able to properly, like, you know, bathe them and all that. So we do have to make room for that uh, later on. So this bathroom is a little bit bigger, but then everything else is the same. Now, I was also going to do those those same bedside tables that we had in the other bedroom, because I felt like it kind of seemed like they were a built-in part of the trailer, and it would like come with the trailer like that. But then those uh, side tables actually turned out to be a really big annoyance and a huge hindrance. Like just kept getting in the way. So, so we actually had to just remove them. It was just easier to get rid of them, because uh, like at the moment it works fine, but I have to move the door to the bedroom when I expand the size of the bathroom, because otherwise it doesn't all fit. Uh, and then at that point, the... Uh, the side tables, I'm sorry, they just gotta go. Now, uh, normally my builds are available for download, but this one currently is not, just because whenever I do Let's Plays, I typically don't uh, upload the houses until I'm done with them, or until we've moved out, so uh, stay tuned for the future, uh, but it's not up yet. If you do, just go to the gallery in The Sims 4 and search for the sim supply all one word as my origin ID. You can find all my builds there, and at some point in the future, this will probably be there too. So if you're watching down the line, it's there, maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, so just keep an eye out for that. Yeah, so this bathroom is a little bit bigger. The bathroom even has its own sink in it. <laughs> like that's an accomplishment. The other bathroom doesn't have a sink. This one obviously also has a potty for the toddlers. And then we get the same couch from the other trailer. And then I also do like a little bookcase here. I didn't do too many toys or anything yet, because like I said, we are pretty strapped for cash. We don't have a lot of money. So I figured we would, would buy more toddler toys and, and all that stuff later on when we actually have a bit more money in the game. Because uh, I can only do so much now and I kind of want to get the basics done. Uh, but we rolled up to this third trailer and I didn't actually know what to put in it because I was like we kind of don't need anything else but then we always go to the gym because we always need to work on fitness for a lot of the uh, a lot of the gigs that we get so I figured uh, well we figured in the chat and on the live stream that that would make a lot of sense to have like a little home gym I couldn't decorate it very much again because I, like, I didn't have that much money but we did like a home gym and then I think we just did ah, it's just like a music utility room it's like a bit of nothing so if you have suggestions down below leave a comment down below of what we can make this third trailer what would be the best thing at the moment, it's like a gym slash music room. I don't know. It's just I put the guitar there. It's really nothing. Like that's kind of it. 
Uh, so I guess don't question that. But obviously in the middle of these three trailers, what would a trailer park be without like a little communal space? So we're going to be using these toddler lights and sort of stringing them across to create this really nice sort of enclosed area, which I think looks really, really cool. However, again, we kind of run out of money, so I'm not able to finish it in time. Also, you look how fiddly this is. Uh, like just trying to get the rotation right. If you go and watch this live stream, you will enjoy this part. Uh, <laughs> So, and then I realized like these kind of look a little bit too low. I want them to be a bit higher up. So they sort of look like they're strung between the roofs rather than just between uh, like the walls, like really low. So I raise them up and then I get a third one in. And like this area in the middle is like perfect for like a communal table or a barbecue or something like that. But I just don't have the money. Uh, so that will be coming a little bit later down the line. Uh, but for now... I was trying to like sort of position this pole so it was inside the wall so it look, all you can see is the string when the walls are up uh, and so it kind of looks like it's just purely suspended from uh, the building itself rather than coming from the pole because we, you know, we didn't really want the pole. We just wanted it to look like it was hanging up there. Now, I think I cut out a lot of this actually because there, there was a lot of fiddling around. I think after I've done this bit, I decide I want to add in a third one then to be able to add in the third one. I had to move the whole thing again. So I don't know how much of that I actually recorded. I guess we'll see. Uh, oh, and I gave each, because I, I ended up doing three of these string lights and I gave each of them a different color. Oh yeah, here you go. So I sort of skipped forward here where I'm trying to get this, this new third one in, which again, requires some finessing and getting it in place. But in the end, they actually are in the correct spot. So I was quite happy about that. <laughs> like so we sort of align like they're not exact you can see like they're not exact but to be able to get them to all fit in there they kind of had to be like that and then what we do is we actually just get like a sort of object pole i was going to do this one but it almost seemed a little too nice this place is supposed to be super run down so i thought i'd just get the other standard orange looking pole from seasons which i it goes with something else i can't remember what it goes with but uh, you'll see it in a second so i just put that in but that's um like that's pretty much it for this build. It was just a really short renovation video, nothing too uh, too much here. Just adding a couple more trailers, furnishing them, giving them a little bit more of a theme than it had before. I didn't really have anything. It was kind of just a bunch of items placed in a room. But I think this is starting to look a little bit more special now, a little bit more like a trailer park, um, <laughs> somewhere that I'm proud to call. Rags to riches. It's definitely rags. Oh, we had this car as well that I decided to uh, put on the side here and I gave it like little dirt tracks and all that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out my new YouTube channel, which is going to have all my live streams on it. Uh, so click on screen. You can go subscribe to that. Would really appreciate it. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll, I'll, uh, I don't know what I'm going to say there. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> have an awesome day.